T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Go Starlink to the Falcon Space Force at Nardo Launch. Vehicle is pitching down range. We are T plus 45 oh, seconds normal. into liftoff, and we have just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle carrying our Starlink payload. You can see that light on the left. Stage, Stage one, two making is its under way. terminal guidance. Stage one, landing like right. deploy. And yes. <laughs> We have another landing. This is the fourth landing of this vehicle and the 48th Falcon 9 first stage landing today. There we go. That's all 60 of those Starlink satellites on their merry way. It's a beautiful sight. Tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Match du vulcain. Allumage, EAP et décollage. And 
We are off. Ariane 5 is blazing a trail across the equatorial skies. And there we see her. She's come out from the other side of the clouds, powering her way into space, heading east, out over the Atlantic Ocean. We've broken the sound barrier, Mach 1. We're traveling faster than the speed of sound. La trajectoire est nominal. And we can just hear the sound of Ariane now coming to us here at the Jupiter Control Center overhead. Thundering overhead. Minus 15 seconds. And. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off, simplify, aim high, go Falcon, go Dragon. Vehicle is pitching down range. T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 with the Crew Dragon capsule is heading east from pad 39A. Everything looking good right now. As we get ready for max dynamic pressure, we are now throttling down the first stage engines on Falcon, Falcon power 9. And telemetry nominal. Everything continues to look good. We're approaching the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle is supersonic and passing through maximum dynamic pressure. You've heard we're supersonic, we're through max Q. We're getting ready now to throttle the engines back up on the first stage. Stage one, throttle up. There's the call out. Okay, the major activity coming up in just over 10 seconds. Shut down and drag an escape from the Falcon 9. Miko, Dragon launch escape initiated. Dragon's away. And you can hear some really loud uh, cheering in the room. Okay, you just saw a bright flash there. It looks like Falcon that may be Falcon 9 breaking up. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Vehicles pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is normal. It is T plus 45 seconds, and we've just had a nominal liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle carrying our Starlink payload on its way to its targeted orbit. In just about 20 seconds coming up here, we will be passing through max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. That is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see, which is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we've just heard that call out from Max Q. Coming up next in about a minute will be three events back to back, starting off with Miko or main engine cutoff, followed immediately by stage separation. And this is where the first stage separates from the second stage. And then followed by SES-1, which is second engine startup. And back engine chill. But we do have the drone Stage one line and light deploy. Stage two is in terminal guidance. All right. 
And yes. Awesome. That's the third landing of this booster. Second time landing on, of course, I Still Love You. Chopper line has landed. Operators. It should be coming up. There we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's that 60 Starlink satellite successfully separating from stage two. And that beautiful planet there is the planet that those satellites are going to provide internet service to, which is super, super exciting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, ignition, three, two, one. And we're off the pad. We are T plus 35 seconds into flight for the 11th Electron mission. In approximately 30 seconds, the rocket will reach the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on its way to space. So let's listen in for the call from Mission Control. High voltage battery discharge nominal. Electron is supersonic. پرتاب ماهواره بومی زفر به فضاست ماهواری که به همراه ماهواره بر سیمار با عنوان نماد خودباوری و خودکفایی متخصصان فضای کشور محسوب می شود Status check for booster Centaur and spacecraft. Everything is go. And so here we go. T minus 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 
and liftoff of our solar orbit and international collaboration to give us new images and a better understanding of our life-giving star. Control voice from Patrick Moore, ULA's launch commentator. Now 25 seconds in flight. Chamber pressure on the SRV looks good. And the operating parameters on the Earth 180 also look good. Good report so far. Atlas 5 and beginning to pitch over. seconds in, vehicle is completing the pitch over maneuver. Now 41 seconds into flight. 45 seconds into flight, everything is looking good. We heard that the RD-180 engine was operational. RD-180 normal. throttling down slightly as expected, and the engine response looks good. I'm going to pull those engines down for just a little bit as we anticipate max Q. plus 47 seconds and we have just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle taking our Starlink payload to its targeted orbit. In about 15 seconds or so we will be passing through Max-Q. Max-Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see throughout its Falcon ascent. Supersonic. You should hear that call out in about five seconds or so. Falcon 9 is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. And there's that call out for Max Q. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage moteur Vulcan. Allumage EAP et décollage VA 252. Propulsion nominale. Well, 
Tous les paramètres bord sont normaux. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Cut the DM, Dragon One. Vehicle is pushing down range. Power and telemetry nominal. At T plus 45 seconds, Falcon 9 has cleared the towers, and the final Dragon 1 flight is underway. Everything looking nominal Falcon for Falcon 9 is one. supersonic. We heard the call out that the vehicle is supersonic. Stage one, landing leg deploy.
minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. It's T plus 40 seconds, and we've just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle, taking Power our Starlink payload nominal. to its targeted deployment orbit. We are now throttling down and throttling back up in preparation for Max-Q, which is coming up here in about 10 seconds or so. Max-Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees throughout ascent, Falcon so this is the largest sorry. structural load that the vehicle will see. Should hear that call out in about five seconds. Maximum aerodynamic pressure. So we did get confirmation of deployment. And there is that live view. So you can see on your screen, the satellites are slowly separating, separating away from the second stage. And over the next few weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and eventually use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their final orbit. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with AEHF 6 on the first mission for the United States Space Force. Beginning the pitch over program. Passing 15 seconds for the flight. TU has gone a close loop control. Guardian 180 is throttling down to 67% thrust as expected. Engine response is good. Passing 30 seconds into flight. 35 seconds into flight. Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Engine operating parameters look nominal. 
Passing 45 seconds into flight, passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The RD-180 is throttling back up to 94% as expected. Engine response looks good. Coming up on one minute into flight, SRB chamber pressures remain nominal at this time. The vehicle is uh, 10 miles in altitude, uh, 6 miles downrange, traveling at 2300 miles per hour. Seventy-five seconds into flight, the RD-180 is throttling to 75% thrust as expected, standing by, standing by for SRB sh burnout shortly.